you should be good for the most part. So we, we're going to have to go back to doing what I used to have to do because I suck at the game. So I have to watch through the entire, I got to watch through the catch and through the entire animation if I want to be consistent or what have you. That's hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Oh, and out there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with a tweet from my boy, yo boy, that boy instant burner that man said i really have to change my name from instant burner lol lol man hey listen man that dude fine that's a funny guy man y'all need to go check out t man link down in the description we're gonna talk about all that in one second and more but before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing man to the moon Alice. and if nobody told y'all this today y'all my brothers my sisters my family love each and every last one of y'all, man. Hey, man, let's just get right into it, man. The NBA 2K community is going in about this whole shooting thing, man. A lot of people had a lot of issues with with shooting. They held a space last night, man. And I can't even get mad at them. Uh, Mike Wong showed up to the space and talked about some stuff, man. And we're going to get into all of that. First of all, let me ask you guys, what do you guys think about shooting? I'm going to tell y'all what I think. In the park, I'm chicken. In the brick, chicken especially from the right side and everywhere else. This year, my biggest thing is I cannot, I'm gonna tell you, I cannot tell where my tail cue is on the left side. It don't matter where I'm playing. I just haven't built the cue that I that I feel confident in, I guess, yet on the left side. Top, right, with the top area, the right side, chicken. It don't really matter where I am, but on this left side, I am iffy 50. Not gonna lie, but park, wreck, uh, let me see, 3v3 Pro-Am, everywhere I'm chicken except for Proving Ground. And, and now, and now, uh, and now, you know, ranked Pro-Am, 3v3 Pro-Am, because 3v3 Pro-Am was just like Park the other day as far as shooting was and, and speed and all of that. And then I think after the patch, it looks like it changed, man. So that's why I am with it. Uh, but I'm 50 in here, so like, I just feel like you just gotta shoot it and they're just not going to allow us to be consistent. And, and 2K Labs kind of somewhat, um, confirmed that with this post that they put out because they were saying, they, this is what they're saying right here. They're saying that this is the reason why you're missing. It's a side-by-side -side comparison of the actual green windows. So it's saying that, it's saying that no matter what happens when you're shooting the basketball, the green window moves visually for you. It visually moves. And so like you just have to pay attention to your animation because it's in the same spot. The cue is the same, no matter what but the timing is not the same. And what it's saying is for years, we've been able to use the same timing and, and because of the pure green windows or how the shooting worked back in the day, we used to be able to use the same timing and hit like, you can use the same timing and this one right here, 590, it will be in all of the zones. But right now this 590, when you're, when, when you're shooting, it's at the edge of one green window, right? And it's in the middle of two green windows or what have you. So you're gonna miss these two shots if you're shooting off of straight timing. That's more or less what they're saying in layman's terms. You're gonna miss those shots. And then here, see, there's a way that you can, there's they, like, it's not all encompassing here. And then with these guys, these are the outliers. These are the ones where we're getting the very earlies and very late. I don't know how, like when I'm shooting those, I, I just gotta get it on up to the 2K guys. Cause I know I ain't shoot a very early or very late. I know where the cue is or, or, or just about know. But what he's saying is you can shoot it here at the 590 and you'll probably hit all of these but you're going to inevitably get a very early or a very late in this case i guess that would be a very early so that happens but if you're paying attention to the animation you should be good for the most part so we, we're gonna have to go back to doing what i used to have to do because i suck at the game so i have to watch through the entire i got to watch through the catch and through the entire animation if i want to be consistent or what have you that's more or less what they're saying they're saying that, the, that the, it moves the green window moves and we have to uh, govern ourselves accordingly now that boy splash edition whose opinion i do respect splash the mainstay on the show man man i wish i could get him in here and we could just chop it up and talk about this stuff this is what splash edition has to say about the shooting let's see what he's talking about so for all the people who think Tom and his RNG and that's what niggas are saying, it's not that. What what guard, it might be some people that are saying that, but what guards are saying is the thing that's RNG is the, the the difference in the animations that you're getting to perform the moves that you're trying to perform. So let's say I catch the ball wide open on the break one time. I get a load up. 
let's say I catch the ball the second time, the exact same time I catch the, the first one, but instead of me getting a load up, it lets me warp right into my shot. Then the third time, it makes me do a catch and shoot fade where you fade your feet when they already set. And I got the same catch three times, bro. So in that, that was RNG involved in those three things because I could have just got the same catch for all three. Right. Now, let's say I'm coming off the screen top of the key and I quick stop and it lets me shoot them. My guards know it's like three different quick stops on the game and three different animations you get. You get the slow shot mm -hmm. right off of it. You can shoot right away. Sometimes it gives you a little pause. Let's say I quick stop top of the key three times in a row, all open. Nobody oh. step up. One time it doesn't let me shoot out of it right away. The next That's time right. it lets me shoot out of it right away. And another time it just makes me drag my feet and I don't get to shoot at all because I have to finish. I can't cancel out of the move. Those are RNG animations thrown in that are fucking up the timing of our jump shot. People want to say, well, just look at your player or just predict this or just predict that. You can't. It's too many factors in what's changing your shot. Nobody is, nobody should give a fuck about the jump shooting anymore. That's not the problem. It's 25 to 30 different things from slowdowns to speed ups to bad catches to good catches to two good catches to really bad catches to bad quick stops to fades to not fade to thinking you were going to fade and shooting to load ups. Too much shit involved when you should just be able to shoot the ball or not shoot the ball or load up or not load up. I feel you on that, Splashy, and uh, I can't I can't really go too much against what he's saying, but I can say this that that's just how they built the game, man. That's how they built the game, and they built it so that it is fair. It's fair in that you can visually look at the shot and and shoot it and hit it, but it's not consistent from it's rng i guess you would say in that in that you don't know what you're going to get so you don't know what you're going to get but at the same time it is fair because it's possible to hit to hit all the shots the shots just move visually and so so that means it's just more like uh like 2k23 shooting except for it's just way more variations or what have you i feel i mean i just don't think i just like i said man i, I agree with uh with nike man you just gonna miss on this bitch. like that's just what it is man and and that we have made it like that because of the zens and things like that and the more consistent anything is the easier it is uh it, the easier it is to cheat because the guys with the zens they saying that they already got it and all that stuff man but hey it is what it is that boy mike wong type type chimed in on boomy's account man i mean you know was talking to her and he just said this this is what mike said the visual cue doesn't move the visual cue and this is dev speak he's saying exactly what 2k lab says the visual cue doesn't move around in different spots in the animation the ideal release point is always at the same point in the animation based on the cue that you choose correct the problem is the problem with shooting is a lot of people are just expecting to have to uh, have the same success this year as they did in 2k24 but one of the main goals in nba 2k25 was to bring down three point percentages to earth bring, bring three point percentages down to earth which is why green windows are much tighter by design the reason why we want three point percentages to be closer to the nba averages is because we believe it results in better basketball i do agree with that uh it, it makes more more vi it makes more bills viable encourages more variety in scoring etc when three point percentages hover around 60 70 percent it makes no sense to ever attempt a two he's absolutely right because right now just like gambit said the name of the game is see bucket get bucket it used to be you run down court you got a wide open dunk nope i'm gonna wait till my teammates get down here maybe i can get a kick out and we get a guaranteed three now you so it's just like real life where if you were to run down court on the break and unless your name is uh wardell stephen curry the second or reginald andre miller i don't know what, i don't know Reginald miller middle name is and you pull up on the break bro this is coming to the side like, like like if you really think that 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 this doesn't I, I think it promotes better gameplay because you have to think and you have to be weary of the fact that you don't know what you're what kind of shots you're going to get on that three ball so you have to be cognizant of this and as such you must adjust yourself accordingly and say hey so the animation fluctuation that labs posted today was in place to combine to, to combat zens obviously but we also thought that it that it justified that it was justified because it increases the skill gap with shooting a good a good user who's able to key on their release off the jumper of jumpers visual cue when the time when fr when the time from the button is pressed to the visual cue is dynamic should be able to outperform a zen 
user. I agree with that, man. So like, like if you got a Zen user, the only thing they're gonna be doing is shooting the same thing over and over and just straight off timing. But I should be able to shoot better than a Zen user, just like 2K23, we could because we saw which which time it was coming and we knew it one to hit uh uh then then he also said so just so it's clear i'm on the side of, i'm on oh this is what boomy said just so i'm clear just so it's clear i'm on the side of balance above all i don't want zens and titans running the comp competitive modes like they did last year in 2k24 especially with how contests are in this game non-existent uh we as a community can decide what's best for us i'll be cool either way they do not need to i don't know man i and like i said and then she said let your voice be heard and this is something that mike said I, uh this was a year ago or something like that or a day ago i really don't know but it says hey this is really this is really what it boils down i remember this being uh last year this is really what it boils down to if anyone has any ideas for better options i'd love to hear them keep the pure green window no rng which means which means for the sake of balance the window needs to be pretty small like um like they are now so that players don't shoot 80 to 90 percent from three this makes shooting very difficult for casual players and we're dealing with that now or go back to the bigger green windows that are easier for people to hit but cap the excellent timing boost and reintroduce rng to keep the game balanced this is how 2k shooting has basically worked for the past 20 years but this year you got the green window you got the consistent green window and instead of capping you at the top they're just moving it so you visually have to be locked in with your forehead to the monitor every single shot if you want to be consistent man i think i like this better because i know i got a chance to hit every shot but some shots i just got no chance to hit because i'm not going to be able to adjust what this really means is if you're using a lightning fast jump shot you might want to take that off and and go down to something with a b or a b plus or something like that man because you'll be able to see it better or like the higher jump shots that just take they they take a little longer so you can see everything you have to use something that you can see and that's why faster jump shots have worked for years in 2k because it negated a lot of the uh a lot of the timing issues man but listen man this is what we this is what we don't want like joseph nosef says man i said that patty that patty this is what splash edition said bro this is what we don't want to happen bro because i'm telling y'all if they change too much the game can quickly devolve into this this dude is moving already man like deuce is moving out there a little bit and then he can take that contested shot and you know it ain't no and then bro Bro, y'all already see where I'm going. Bro, dudes in the theater is chick, bro. In the in the wreck, dudes is chick. Doggone, I'm not gonna lie, man. And I'm and it might be off catching shoots, like a lot of people are saying, bro. But like, bro, you should never be able to take that shot and that thing says open with that patty, man. Stop, bro. Like Mike, he said, here we go again, man. And then just like uh my boy Man Man Ground the fuck hard said, he's you know what he said. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That boy Steve's out here saying rhythm shooting. Hold on, what did he say? Well, hold on, let me see what Steve's gonna say. He say, oh, let's go right here with it. Like, rhythm shooting in 2K25 is broken. 94 is three ball with all the badges. Shooting with the stick 100% of the 100% makes the green window bigger. They don't know how freaking difficult it is to shoot with the analog stick after doing the dribble move. Whose idea was this? Hey, man, this is what he got, man. We're gonna watch this little Steezo breakdown, bro. Do y'all want, like, we understand that this is Steezo and we don't know what these percentages are, none of that stuff, man. But, man, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to put, put do the Steezo setup. I don't want none of that up there with my shot percentage or how many I didn't hit and all that. And I'm going to this instant thing because I believe this simple joint. I, I feel like I was shooting more greens with the simple joint because the game had to make an immediate decision whether or not I hit that shot. It already knew. But I'm just saying, man, I feel like I was shooting more greens with, with that. I'm going back to simple, and I'm, I'm going to put my joint up here and, and hide my percentages because I want because I need my doggone percentages. I ain't going to lie. Like, bro, do y'all want this right here, bro? Like, obviously, we don't know what's going on, and you know what I'm saying? He could be front and Well, some of these games is tight, so he's not front running. But it's just like, bro, People are not far from doing this stuff, I feel like. We ain't far from dudes being able to move like this and really get it going like this, man. I, I don't think we are that far because dudes are already moving. We've been in that, we've been in the pro-am and we've been in the uh in the proving ground. Dudes are already moving in there. It's already hard as all get out the bump people in there. And if we and if you start seeing this, like the mechanic is here for everybody to use. It's there for everybody to use. If you don't want to use it, that's cool. You don't have to because they have something else for you. But if if I'm doing something that's more difficult and by 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 proxy, it, it can make me more successful. Like that's just goddamn ridiculous right there, bro. Steezo, shut the f up. 
Shut the f*** up, bro. That's it. That's just ridiculous right there. You had to do them two boys like that. But just like Man Man Ground the fuck hard said, bro, you can shoot anything when you're doing that, man. So it is what it is. And last but not least, we got that boy Power hit the wrong button. Power says, man, what it really, what I really like about NBA 2K25 shooting so far is this noticeable skill gap. Not in the sense that that the best players make every shot, but the bad players can't hit it, <laughs> hit it all. This is the first 2K years where I feel like I leave a bad, I can leave a bad person open and they'll miss because they aren't good. And he said, hey, what dude says, what he, what he said right here, he said, uh, he says how it should be bad players shooting 30 to 20 percent and players shooting 40 to good players shooting 40 to 50 and even higher sometimes bad players shouldn't be shooting 40 to 50 percent and i agree that's what we're gonna leave it at man because i can't i can't hate on it man it is what it is i'm with you when you're right i personally don't give a single solitary mother what they do with it i will tell you like this though like my boy quavius young said i do agree with him they let quavo quavo in the chat last night for some reason they kicked him out they ain't like what he was saying it is what it is but i will tell you that he wasn't wrong in my court chicken in park chicken with a he got a seven footer he got a footer out there shooting better than people in the park chick wreck chick Dog go everywhere else, but when you load up them, them two competitive game modes, and that's really what it is, man. I think a lot of people have not played. Like I said, the day that I spazzed out on the game, I was having a crisis because we had played Proving Grounds for 45 straight fucking hours, and my brain was fried. And I was just like, yo, this is just how it is. Now I've accepted how it is, and it ain't no big deal, but I just want y'all to know that. If you're playing those more competitive modes, you got, you, like we pretty much got what we asked for, got it because you asked for it. It's really difficult for people to shoot in there, and and it just is what it is. Like, like in order to make it hard, Rising Tide raises our ships, right? So I can't make it harder for casual people without making it harder for, for, for the masses, right? But people think that you can do that. It won't be harder for me because I'm elite. It, it just don't work like that, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do y'all like shooting? Do y'all not like shooting? Because like I said, them dudes ain't missing in the theater or in other places in the park and this stuff. But in, in, in when you go to 3v3 Pro-Am, dudes is not hidden. So that's the more competitive mode. That's kind of what we asked for. And that's where we at with it. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, please. Guys, please.